Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing today? So today, I want to talk about a real simple, real easy, I mean very simple and very easy strategy for you to be able to save money. Now, if you're new to this channel, be sure to stick around, like, and subscribe. We like to talk about money. We like to talk about investing. We like to talk about how you can succeed and become financially successful from wherever you are, whether you have money or whether you don't have much money. So yes, I know, I know, I know. There's a term out there that says savers are losers. And understanding what that term means, it has a lot of relevancy, especially for today. However, in the same instance, saving money is something that we still have to do because we need to have some type of cash on hand. Now about the savers being losers thing, I'll talk about that a little later. It's actually a term that goes more towards a specific concept of how things are in the economy. It's not saying that you should not save any type of money. It's just basically talking about how your money is not really growing. But back to what I was talking about, about saving and how to have an easy strategy to save your money. So one of the things that a lot of people struggle with is they struggle with being able to save money and not touch it and just having that discipline and having that habit. Now, I don't have to do anything. This is something that I do on a regular basis, something that I do with multiple accounts that I have, and that is I have automatic investments, automatic savings. Now with this strategy, it makes it so easy that you don't have to physically always have to do anything. And that's just basically setting up an automatic transfer. So let's say, for example, if you're someone that you want to save a hundred dollars every time you get paid. So you go into your account. If you have a savings account that allows this, and even if you have, like if it's with your employer or your business account, whatever account it is, you know, find out if you have any type of automatic transfers or automatic savings. So what you can do is simply set it to that every time you get paid. So let's say if you got paid once a week or you got paid every two weeks, right? So whatever that is, you could actually have it set up that automatically that you have $100 drafted out of your account and go to your savings account every single time you get paid. It's automatic. It's just like the taxes come out automatic. It's just like if you have a 401k and money come out automatic, you can do the same thing with your savings and with you saving money. You can also do the same thing with how you invest money. And it makes it very easy and simple. So a lot of times if you're going to look to transfer money yourself, a lot of times you're probably calculating in your head, trying to say, ah, you know, I can't send that $10 or I can't send that 100 or that $1,000 to the account because you're thinking about stuff that you have to do. But what you can do is if you set up an automatic savings and automatic transfer, what happens is basically, you know, that money will be transferred. And after a while, you will start to forget that that money is being transferred. So it's working for you, even though that you might not necessarily be working for yourself in that manner. Now, if this particular savings account is with your banking that you, you know, you already have your checking with, that's cool. But it might be better to actually have that savings in a separate account, something that's not right in front of your face that you're always checking because you're always checking, you know, your, your checking account, right? Say that three times, you're always checking your checking account, right? So what happens is you're always visually seeing the money there. And let's say if you just need something, it's easy for you to say, you know what, let me just transfer this. Or if you have a problem with your account balance, it just becomes basically, you know, money for overdraft protection. And so what you wanna do is you can have a separate savings account set to the side somewhere else that gets automatic transfers to it. And there are plenty of companies out there that does this where you can set that up. Your bank may also do it like companies like Capital One 360. I use that for one of my, my uh, savings accounts. You have other companies out there like SoFi and, and Discover and all these different uh, bank accounts, all these savings accounts that actually give you some good entrance compared to the bank interest that you can use to do just that. And the money will be transferred automatically. You don't have to worry about it. Now, here's my challenge to you. Try it out for six months, try it out for a year, and then take a look and see how much money you save. Now, choose your price, choose your amount for whatever it is that you can do. For some people, it may be $1,000 every time you get paid. Some people, it may be more. Some people, it may be less some people may be just twenty dollars whatever it is challenge yourself to do that and then after a year look at the money that you have now when you see the money that you have it doesn't mean that you you spend it, it doesn't mean just go spend it you know unless there's an emergency and you need it fine 
But that's not what it means. But it means you get a chance to actually take a look and see what having a consistent and good habit does when it's when it's being consistent, when it's constantly happening. And then you'll kind of start to understand how this whole becoming better financially thing works. There's a lot of discipline. There's a lot of structure with that. And you create these processes and you create these different systems and disciplines that works for you and your particular budget and how you do things. You create those things that work for you. And so that's an easy way to see money start to accumulate. If you've ever had a problem just being able to save money, this is a very easy way for you to actually start to save some money and see some real good results, right? Just keep your hands off the pot. All right, guys, so what I'll do is I will list in the description or the comments below, I will list a list of different savings accounts that you can use if you don't have one or you don't, or you wanna open one that's you know not necessarily with your bank. I'll, I'll put those in the description below and you can check those out. Now, if you're looking to invest, be sure to check out the links below. Check out the link for Weeble. They actually will give you two free stocks you have to deposit $100 and they'll give you two free stocks and you can keep the stocks if you want but if you choose to you can actually just you know sell the stocks and take the cash and run with it if you want but check that out in the description below all right guys be sure to like and subscribe i'll see you guys soon y'all be blessed take care peace